Oh, she's kicking my computer. subscribers it has been a while since I have been in front of the camera our family has been really sick this last week that's why our channel has been a little bit quiet plus I am 36 weeks pregnant holy cannoli basically full term if I go into labor at any time they will not stop it I'm preferably wanting to go to 37 weeks for home birth issues for next week and I'm actually technically 36 in two today that's i'm a little behind oh my gosh acid reflux <clears throat> so my phone's charging over here it's dead so i brought my laptop over here to read from i'll go ahead and give you guys the update so based on how i'm feeling i'm really fatigued and tired but i think that's mainly because i have been feeling sick because my husband got sick and then my kids got sick and I got sick and it was just a hot mess. I'm still having really bad acid reflux. I did sleep a lot though. I've been sleeping a good amount, so that's good. I've been having a lot of headaches lately, kind of feeling off. It really sucks to feel sick because I have so much to do and I just like am stressed out about that too. And we're pushing to get the kids rooms and Penelope's nursery all done, which we've made excellent progress. I'm vlogging, I have been vlogging that actually. So you guys will see like what we're doing to the kids rooms and that's turning out really good at least. So I'm glad we're making progress there. I had my baby shower, which was so cute you guys. Oh my gosh, oh. I just loved it. I will never forget that. That was like, my mom did such a good job. My cousin, thank you guys so much. My aunt, my Nana, they just made it totally perfect. I had always dreamt about doing a tea party baby shower if I ever had a baby girl. It came out <laughs> just better than I could have ever imagined. If you haven't seen that vlog, go check that out. It's super cute. So I've had my baby shower and now I'm just kind of trying to get all last minute things ordered and all the stuff for the room ordered. And right now, as most of you probably are aware of, we're having like a snow apocalypse. Like there is just so much snow, you guys. Like I could not deal. My packages are late. The UPS or the USPS lady would not deliver my package up. I tried twice and she's claimed it was unsafe so anyways it's just been a hot mess getting all the nursery stuff the boys room stuff and the last minute baby stuff that's been kind of exhausting but i'm hoping by this weekend we can get it all and get it all done oh my gosh you guys this acid reflux is so gross i got my birth kit i got my bloom life which i have right here and i'm gonna make a full video on it but here it is and it's a little contraction monitor. So I am actually contracting a lot. I'll go into depth more on this. I'm gonna make a full video, like I said, for this, my review for it. But I have been contracting so much, you guys. I average about 100 contractions a night. But obviously they're Braxton Hicks contractions, so they're not dilating me. They might be doing a little bit of dilation and effacement and stuff. I mean, 100 contractions a night, if those were the real deal, I would have given birth in my sleep. I'll go into that in the other video. I also had my maternity pictures done, and oh my gosh, those turned out so great. I'll insert a couple here. For those of you who don't know, I do photography, so I already had a professional camera. So my cousin was in town for my baby shower, and me and my cousin just went out into the snow just a, a little while down the road. I helped her with like the lighting and the settings and just kind of gave her a few little tips and she did so good. Thank you, Melissa, like that, you did really good. And then I just edited them in Photoshop since I know how the, all the editing stuff works, but they turned out so cute. I love them. So with the snow, 
Another thing that was an issue this week was I wasn't able to make it to my group appointment that we were having, which totally sucks. I, I did want to like see the girls for one, one more time because this would have been the last time I saw them, but it didn't work out because of the snow yesterday. So my midwife is actually going to come to my house because she already needed to come and kind of see where I live just so that way she's familiar if she has to drive in the middle of the night, you know, she's not having to look for directions. When I actually go into labor, she can get here quicker. So that's happening Friday. And normally she would be bringing the birth tub. It kind of stinks because there's another mama who's having a home birth and she's actually due before me. She tends to go later with her babies and I go earlier. And so the way our due dates are, we're gonna go into labor probably pretty close at the same time. So my midwife is just gonna keep the tub. Whichever one of us goes first, she's gonna bring the tub. Now I go into labor really fast and I give birth pretty quickly. So <laughs> I actually just ordered on Amazon a like little blow up tub too that was like 30 bucks because I figure if I don't end up using it for the birth I can eat the kids can use it this summer I have my whole birth area set up which you're gonna see in another vlog that I'm doing about my home birth kit and about my home birth experiences and everything and I'm I've already got like her name up over here with lights and it's so cute and this is where I give birth over here yeah I do not want to end up in the boys bathtub like I did with Jackson because he came so fast so we will definitely be prepared have an extra tub just in case my midwife is running late. So I'll see her Friday and I think I'm gonna have her check me too because I'm really interested to see if I am dilating. And I guess that's really it. I'm just recovering from being sick and that's why I haven't really been on the channel that often. I have so much content that I need to get out and share. <laughs> so there is a lot coming you guys. I just need to get the time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> to edit and do it and not be sick. Really quick, I wanted to show you guys something I got for P. So cute. So let me go ahead and show you the outfit first. It says Penelope has arrived and then it comes with these little bloomers here. And then it also came with these and the bottom ones go on her feet and the top is like a little hairband. So stinking cute. I'm so excited about it. Miss Penelope. <laughs> I'm getting really excited though. We're so close. My guess is March 8th still. So that's literally a week from Friday. <laughs> One week away. That's crazy. So I would almost be 38 weeks. The day I turned 38 weeks, I went into labor with my last son. And I'm thinking she might come a couple days earlier. 38 or 37 and five. I can't believe it, you guys, it's so soon. <laughs> my family's starting to schedule their flights and like when they're gonna come up here. By the way, isn't this shirt so cute? <laughs> I got it from one of my friends at my baby shower, actually, it says Mama Bird. So funny story, last week I was standing in the kitchen and Drew and I were just like talking. I literally felt like a trickle or something. It felt just like when my water had started to break with Braylon and I just dropped my pants in the kitchen to like check and he was like, whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> It was pretty funny. My water did not break. We're okay. I've been leaking a little bit here and there. I'm gonna have my midwife check me, but I, I really don't think it's my water or anything that kind of happens to me at the end of pregnancy usually. You know, I don't think I'm gonna read from Ovia because my phone's dead this week. Let me see if I can just Google on my computer really quick, just tell you guys how big she is. Here, I can actually just read it from my computer here. I'll just read how is baby. After this week, baby will almost be carried to term known as near term the rest is mostly just baby fat from here on out her digestive system is the only major system in her body that is not fully developed yet although baby has had plenty of practice swallowing she will not be fully digesting food until she starts eating on the outside. Speaking of which, you should start thinking about how baby is going to get food once she is born, whether by breastfeeding or bottle. Breastfeeding is an excellent way to make sure baby stays healthy and to bond with her, but it's not the only way to do things. Bottle feeding can give you and baby just as much of a chance to bond and provide her with the nutrition she needs. And I will be, I try to breastfeed every one of my babies it doesn't always work out for me though. It hasn't always. Jackson's been my most successful 
breastfeeder, but I'm praying that she is too. At this point, if baby is still in the breech position or any other awkward way of hanging out in your uterus, your healthcare provider may talk to you about ways to try to get her to move into a more convenient position for safe labor. Baby is probably close to 19 inches and six pounds at this time, the size of a papaya. Oh, she is, oh, she's kicking my computer. Although variation between the height and weight of different babies increases as they get close to birth, just like how you are bigger or smaller than people you know, which my babies usually do run a little bit bigger. I won't read the hows, mom. I kind of just told you how I'm doing. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready for our girl. So exciting. Okay, so I'll go ahead and show you the 36 week bump. Here is my 36 week baby belly. She feels so low. Whoo! There she is in all her glory. So out of breath. That's it for the 36 week update. We're getting close. We're getting things done. The nursery's getting done. I can't wait to show you guys that. I can't wait. I can't believe I'm gonna be making my birth vlog so soon too. I'm gonna try to get my Bloom Life video and my home birth video, my home birth kit video up here, hopefully by this weekend. There should be lots of content coming. If you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and continue to follow our journey. We'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.